Hey guys, what is up? Total Recall Gamers here, bringing you an updated tutorial on, well not really updated at all, but a tutorial on the GIMP 2.8 custom YouTube low world creator. So, in this tutorial I'll be doing an in-depth uh, look at how to make your own professional YouTube logo, and if you guys really liked the video and it helped you guys out a lot, please subscribe, like, and comment. It helps me out so much for my channel and it helped me get me out there share the video with a friend if they also are trying to uh, figure this out so you guys are going to want to get three main things for this tutorial the first one being GIMP so you're going to want to open up a web browser I have Google Chrome installed so when Google Chrome opens up or Internet Explorer or Firefox etc etc you go into this a search bar and you're going to type in GIMP just like that and you're going to go down to the www.gimp.org click on the link and you'll get to this page. If not, there's the uh, web address right there. Now you're going to hit download and you're going to go down to download GIMP 2.8.14 and you're going to hit this button right there. Follow this link. Now it's going to start running and it's going to give you a time. I just click on it and then that way when this opens in 18 seconds you'll have GIMP ready to install. Another thing we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be showing you or I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a dynamic shadow to your images and get with a program called ScriptFu. This tutorial was not possible with uh, the help of another YouTuber named Manual Graphics. You'll see his YouTube channel uh, pretty soon here. But back onto here, you're going to get this user account control, and you're going to hit OK, and that's going to start installing. So I would select English, or maybe you're doing this in a different language. I don't know. Hit English though and you're going to hit GIMP 2.8 and you're going to click install. Now it's just going to start extracting files to your computer and this is just installing GIMP. Don't worry about any like malicious adware. Um, don't worry about viruses. Whenever I've installed this I haven't gotten anything. So don't worry about it. So we can just close or minimize this window and we can get to on installing GIMP. So if you guys haven't been subscribed to me uh, earlier, you guys know that I actually said in my early video I was building a PC, and this is my PC. So I just built it a couple days ago, and it's pretty awesome. I might be doing a like a little room tour, showing off my PC and my setup, but that would that be down in the future when I can get um, more recording done and other stuff for games. But kind of back to the tutorial, guys. Once you have installed GIMP, and you click finish, and then boom, you're not gonna see anything, right? There's no desktop. So I'm on Windows 8. If you guys are on Windows 7, that's fine. Just click this. I have Classic Shell, so it looks should look very similar to Windows 8. And just type in GIMP. And you're gonna have program name GIMP, right? Oh, that's not it. No, <laughs> dang it, GIMP again. Sorry. And you're gonna go to GIMP, and you're gonna hit uh, pin to taskbar. And that's what I always do. I just pin it to my taskbar. So now you have GIMP installed. Our next thing is going to be installing a font for your choosing in ScriptFu. So you can find the ScriptFu download in the description. If not, you're going to go to, I'm going to go to this little thing. It's going to load up a YouTube, and this is once again Manual Graphics Guys right here. He does an awesome tutorial on how to install ScriptFu. But I'm just going to go to Show More, and I'm going to hit ScriptFu Download. Here's once again the exact uh, download. So if you guys want to download through the just typing in the web address, there it is. So once you go to here to GIMP plugin registry, you're going to go into layer fx.hcm and then click install or click on the little attachment link and it's going to start installing it. Here you don't want to open it with anything, you just want to click on it and drag it all the way over to your desktop. So once you have this installed, I have I think I have another one of these already installed, that's why it says two, so don't worry about that anyways. The next part, guys, is downloading a font. So if we go to the second link, which will also be down in the description of this video, or you can go to the web address right here, you can install Dodger the font. This is the one that I use mainly. It's very nice, and I think it's the best font you can use. So don't go ahead and click download once again, and you're going to get to this part, and you're going to be using the font DODGV2. Uh, so don't you just leave this uh, little window open, but you can minimize this part. So the next thing is to be putting these two things, the script foo and the font, into uh, GIMP so that they load up when you inst when you run GIMP. So that means you have to want to go over here, or you know, uh, if you're Windows 8 without the classic shell installed, you want to just right click and go to uh, <sighs> Control Panel, 
and okay sorry I just said that wrong you just want to go to this right here and you're just going to search for GIMP until you find the file for GIMP file 42 GIMP.28 yeah. that's when you want to click on so now you're going to go down here and you're going to go down to scripts open the scripts folder by double tapping it not renaming it double tap and see I already placed the layer FX SEM inside of here but if you haven't if, it, if this is blank what you, you will have you just want to take it and bring it right into there move to scripts and that will have it put in there and you're good to go so then you can go back from here and then you're going to go to fonts so if I can go to fonts here you go click on the fonts folder and I also have dodge gv2 in there already but if you just do it regularly you can have the dodge gv2 click on it and hold it and you're just going to copy that to the fonts folder inside GIMP. So once that's all done guys you will already have the script foo and the, the font installed for GIMP so you want to start running GIMP right now so click on GIMP and it's going to start. Okay guys what's up uh, I started up GIMP now and I had to do a part two because I did record a uh, straight raw footage of that and I ended up doing this totally wrong which is actually my fault. So back in though you're gonna go to when this all loads up you're gonna have these three boxes you're gonna have tool options a toolbox and uh, layers and brushes brushes sorry you can go to windows to open these up and go to like toolbox dockable dialogs click all that stuff if you don't have any of these windows but anyways on to the creating of a logo now so our first goal is to go to file click new and you're gonna set the width to 800 and the height to 800 click OK so now you can see straight off the bat that I have a blue background. That is not right. So go here, click white, and okay, yours should look like that. I'm sorry that I, mine was blue. That was weird. So uh, now you're gonna go to new layer, and you're gonna hit OK. So now you have a new layer, and you're gonna click the ellipse tool. You're gonna click in this corner as precisely as possible, and you're gonna drag a circle all the way down to this corner and once you have that uh, circle created you're going to go down to this gradient tool and you're going to select kind of a darker color or dark gray and then a light gray and you're gonna, then you're going to hold the control key on your keyboard and then you click and you're going to drag it up to create a gradient so now this is, creates your gradient for the circle uh, if you want a different style of gradient like it going down or you want it sideways like the sun's coming at it from an angle you can do stuff like that but for this basic tutorial guys I'm just going to do it straight up and down which is looks fine so once you have in script tool installed too for GIMP you can click on it here go to layer effects and do drop shadow a little new tab is going to open up click on it hit merge with layer ok and then boom you guys you have a drop shadow on your circle looks already pretty sweet doesn't it so your next step is going to be clicking a new layer once again you're going to hit ok and then you're going to click the ellipse tool again you're going to make a smaller circle this time not the same. Okay, we need to make it a little bit bigger, but not the same size, so that you almost have a uh, kind of a outer edge for this silver. And then you're going to be clicking on any color you want for this tutorial. I'm just going to be using a blue. Hit OK, and then you're going to go to the paint bucket tool and click on it, and then boom, you have your blue and the back. So right here, uh, you also can go hit script blue once again, layer effects and you can do drop shadow or inner shadow for this I'm going to be using drop shadow click on the tab again merge with layer make sure it's selected hit OK and then you have the blue looking great guys so next part once again is you're going to hit new layer hit OK click on the ellipse tool once again and you're going to make once again a circle with a little blue around it and you just want to kind of make sure it looks all right and kind of make it look a little bit which is as precise as possible you can go here take on the gradient tool again click on that dark gray and the light gray is still selected hold the control key bring it up and then boom guys you have your circle with your three rings inside of it looking sweet so when you scan you're gonna hit new layer okay and now we're gonna do the dodger font stuff so you're gonna go back to your tool options. I don't know why that got out of the way. And you're going to click Dodger. So you're going to search Dodger. Uh, it'll be on like something basic. Just search a DO and then Dodger will come up and select Dodger. Size, make it 220. And then you're going to do the color the same as the 
the same color as this uh, line back here of layer one. Hit OK. And then you're going to hold left click and kind of drag it out to make a rectangle. And then click on it and then write your initials of your YouTube channel. Mine's Total Recall Gamers, so DRG. This is the point when you can kind of uh, maneuver it down a little bit and make it try to try to make it as even as possible. Whoops, check that out. And you're gonna want to make that as even as possible. Okay, nope. So right now you can see it's a little bit. I don't like it when it's t connecting to the blue. So you can uh, left click and select all of it, and you can go click this, and this will make it smaller. So I make it about 205, which looks really good. And you can start um, start moving it over a little bit. Okay, we're once again going to make it a little bit smaller, actually, because it's not still a little bit too big for the liking of this. And you're gonna yeah, make it show it fits in here. So that looks really good, guys. You can kind of click outside of the screen. Nope. Nope. And you're just going to go over here and select like the rectangle tool just to get out of there. And you'll have the TRG selected still. This is when you can go to script food once again, layer effects. In this one, you're going to do inner shadow. Click on the tab, make sure it's just merge with layer. And then boom. So that's your logo, guys. Uh, you can have your own text right there. Instead of TRG, you can do something. You can actually do a full on name. You have to make the text smaller. But well, that's really a basic tutorial on how to make that. So now, how do I get this to be an image? The the image type you can have is a PNG or a JPEG. Um, okay, right before that, I forgot one huge thing, actually. Uh, for YouTube, you're going to have that white background, and you don't want that, do you? So you're going to click on New Layer once again, hit OK, select the Box tool, go up here in the corner, go back over here so it goes to those 800 that 800 uh, pixel perfect and then you're gonna go to the gradient tool and I'm just gonna do like a black with that blue again and you hit control drag it all the way up and you're gonna think oh no it um, ruined my thing it's in the way just click on it and then you can move it down and it's gonna start going behind it so there you go guys that's a sweet logo and um, if you think it doesn't contrast well with the the circle itself actually you can easily go back up to layer 4 and you can change it to be blue so you can hit OK and then you can go back to the gradient tool and uh, hold control and there you go I think that looks a little bit better so there you go you have your uh, awesome sweet logo and this is the time to export so you're gonna go back up to file and you're gonna hit save as you hit export as now this is gonna show you your files on your computer Beforehand, I, what I like to do is you can actually just move this out of the way, create right on your desktop, click new folder, and go to name it like YouTube, or you can name it GIMP, uh, that's not spelled right, YouTube, and then you can make your own folder, so now that's on your desktop. So when you go back to the export image uh, right here, and you're going to go to desktop, and you're going to see the YouTube, click on it, and this is now uh, going to export it into that folder right there. So you're going to want to name this anything you want really I'll just name it logo and it's at p dot png right now don't have it on png uh, that's only for making transparent things uh, so just type in jpeg instead and you're gonna hit export now it's gonna go quality bar let's go up to 100 percent and hit export and that's gonna export it and then guys you're essentially done you can minimize all those windows for GIMP click on YouTube and then there you go guys it's right there so now you can go to your YouTube channel and select change cover or change logo and you're gonna put that in there drag that into that and it's gonna upload it for you and there's your new logo so that's really sweet I hope you guys like this tutorial once again if you did like it please subscribe like and comment and check out my other videos uh, more PC videos will be coming out in the future tutorials uh, share this with your friends and I hope you guys all have an awesome day. See you guys later.